Hey everyone, Roman here from Synthes Tech Lab. Uh, let's break down to a crucial topic today. Thick blood and how much oxygen it can carry. You've likely heard the term hypoxia. That's when your cells are starved for oxygen. Here's the key thing. Low oxygen is a hidden cause behind many chronic and age-related diseases from heart issues to aging itself and even cancer. And that isn't a new science. A Nobel Prize winner Dr. Otto Warburg was onto this almost a century ago. So how does hypoxia happen? Most of the time, the reason is that our red blood cells start to stick together. This process is called erythrocyte aggregation. And honestly, this isn't just a problem for older people. Your blood can become thicker because of poor diet, chronic stress, certain illnesses, or even after an injury. When blood gets thick, uh, the red blood cells lose their mobility. And this leads to impaired uh, microcirculation. That's the, the blood flow through your uh, tiniest vessels, the capillars. Why this is such a big deal? Let's break it down. Take a look at the diagram of our circulatory system. The blood travels through large arteries and veins to reach our organs, and then it branches into a network of tiny capillaries. And this is the crucial part. It's through the capillary walls that oxygen and nutrients are delivered to our cells and waste products like carbon dioxide are taken away. In fact, the most important part of our metabolism happens right there in the capillary network. If microcirculation is impaired, your organs simply don't get enough oxygen and nutrients. And that's where the problems begin. Now take a look at these two blood samples. On the left, you see men's blood before taking the special synthesis supplement. On the right, just one hour after taking uh, synthesis. I've repeated this experiment many times. I've uh, taken blood from a lot of people myself and observed it under a microscope. In the left image, you can clearly see the cells clump together, forming a dense slug. Blood like this has a hard time moving through your uh, capillaries. Often, it doesn't even reach them. To force this slug through, your body has to increase pressure. In the long run, this is a direct path to hypertension, kidney and heart problems, joint pain, diabetes, and even brain diseases like Alzheimer's. To help you understand just how serious this is, let me give you some numbers. And the narrowest capillaries in your body are only 5 micrometers wide. Some people even have capillaries as thin as 2 micrometers. Now, the size of the single healthy red blood cells is about 6.2 to 8.2 micrometers. Think about it, even on its own, the red blood cells has to literally squeeze through these tiny passages. Now, if it clumped together with others, well, you can say goodbye to a proper microcirculation. Now, how do you actually unstick these red blood cells and restore them to their normal state? Well, until recently, the only way to do this was through expensive medical procedure like laser blood irradiation, also known as LBI intravenous laser blood irradiation. This costs about $100 per session and comes with a long list of contraindications and side effects. But now, let's get to the main part, oxygen saturation. How can you even check how well your blood is saturated with oxygen? You don't need to be a doctor for this. All you need is a simple pulse oximeter. You can even find them in the modern smartwatches like Apple Watch Series 6 and later. So what does it show? The percentage of oxygen in your blood, or SpO2. If it reads 95%, it means that 95% of your hemoglobin is carrying oxygen. And 5% is, let's say, taking a break. For context, a normal blood oxygen level for a healthy person is 95% or higher. If the number drops below 94%, that's a cause for concern. And if it falls below 90%, medical protocols recommend giving that person oxygen for a mask. Simply put, your body is suffering from a lack of oxygen. So, uh, what does that mean in real life? The most common and unpleasant symptom is so-called brain fog. Your memory and concentration start to suffer. You feel fatigued, drowsy, and get headaches. All of these are signs of a low oxygen saturation. The problem is, many people get used to this state and don't see it as a problem, even though it's not normal. To live a full life at any age, a 
person needs to be alert, clear-headed, active and energetic. And this is where synthesis comes in. It helps to unstick the red blood cells, improve microcirculation and as a result increase your blood oxygen saturation. I emphasize at any age for a reason, I'll tell you why that's so important in the next videos. I hope it was interesting for you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.